Bacteria in general can be divided into gram-negative and gram-positive uh, bacteria, depending on their cell wall, their peptidoglycan makeup. Gram-positive implies a thick peptidoglycan layer, and they stain a purple color. Now, there are two main species of gram-positive cocci that causes human infections. These are streptococci and staphylococci. They are differentiated by two main criteria. Firstly, their ability or inability to produce the enzyme catalase. Streptococcal species are catalase negative. Staphylococcal species are catalase positive, which allow them to convert hyd hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen gas. Hence, on a slide or tube, bubbles are formed. The second criteria to differentiate Staphylococcus to Streptococcus is based on microscopic appearance. Staphylococcus species are usually in clusters, whereas Streptococcus species are arranged in pairs or chains. Streptococcal infections remain a serious health problem worldwide. The Streptococci are divided based on their oxygen requirement and are classified into aerobes, facultative anaerobes, or obligate anaerobes. Forget about those terms, here we are fo focusing on aerobic and facultative anaerobics, which make up the majority of uh, Streptococcus species. I am writing aerobic here because facultative anaerobes are able to survive in oxygen as well. The gram-positive uh, Streptococci are then further divided into the hemolytic properties in blood. The Streptococcus species are smeared in blood agar, which is a plate containing blood. Hemolytic properties of the bacteria means the bacteria's ability to hemolyze, to break down the red blood cells on the plate. Streptococci are divided into three hemolytic groups, alpha hemolytic, beta hemolytic, and gamma hemolytic. Alpha hemolytic is where the streptococci causes partial hemolysis. So on the blood agar, there is, small, there is a small area around the bacteria that is smeared, which has cleared and displays a greenish type color. Partial hemolysis means some of the red blood cells on the plate have hemolyzed. Beta hemolysis is where the streptococci causes complete hemolysis. So a certain circumference around where the streptococci was smeared on the plate will display clearing of the red blood cells because these red blood cells have undergone hemolysis by the bacteria. Gamma hemolytic streptococci do not hemolyze any red blood cells on the plate, and so the plate is all red. The red blood cells are still there. Once the hemolytic properties of the streptococcus species is identified, this narrows the type of streptococci. For example, the two main alpha hemolytic streptococci are Streptococcus pneumoniae and Streptococcus viridiens. The two bacteria can be further differentiated by smearing the alpha hemolytic streptococci in a medium with the optochin disc. Optochin is a derivative of a quinine. You don't need to know anything more about it. Streptococcus pneumoniae, the bacteria, which is well known to cause community-acquired pneumonia and acute otitis media, is susceptible to optochin. And so, around the optochin disc, there is a space because all the streptococcus pneumoniae, the bacteria, have died around it. But another feature of streptococcus pneumoniae is that they are a capsulated organism. They have a capsule. Streptococcus viridians, on the other hand, is resistant to optochin and does not contain a capsule. And so on this plate, surrounding the optogen disc, streptococcus viridians still exist because they're resistant. The beta-hemolytic streptococci are further classified 
uh, based on antigenic structure. This is the Lance field classification. The antigenic structure is a serological classification system and is based on the detection of specific carbohydrate antigens on the cell wall of the streptococci. The Lance field classification include basically groups A to W with the exception of I and J. So for example, the majority and one of the most important human pathogens belong to group A in the Lance field classification. These are called the group A streptococci, also known as streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes is the most important human pathogen uh, causing bacterial pharyngitis, rheumatic heart disease, and post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, for example. Group B streptococcus is also known as streptococcus agelectiae, well known for causing neonatal infections. And uh, the group B streptococcus is the bacteria screened in pregnant women. The gamma hemolytic streptococci are the enterococci, and these include the enterococcus faecalis and the enterococcus uh, feetium. These guys are normally found in the gastrointestinal tract, hence feces, and are also classified under the Lance field classification as group D streptococcus. I hope you enjoyed this video on the overview of the streptococcal. I hope you enjoyed this video of the overview of streptococcus species. Um, later videos will look into the different types of the streptococcus species, specifically streptococcus pyogenes, for example, and streptococcus pneumoniae.